Hopefully they should kill him. Nothing really happened, so much so just show mercy. That was a really fast run though. Father. Damn. Father. You survive. Yeah, you could have seen me just now, you know. Your sister. She hid. Oh shit, dude. I tried to stop them. That's inhumane to die like that. It's, it's not cool, man. Screw the Boltons. Honestly, I'll kill the man who did this. You should have killed the man just now. You know, when you had a chance, you know? There was a Bolton general there. The way they drew it looks really nice. That's what I like about it. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! His voice almost cracked at that time. I'm back, bitches! Garrett! Just kidding. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. We can't very well let the White Hills walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <sighs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The Ironwood Grove.
Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Sorry guys, the recording, something was happening with the recording, and, uh, yeah, so, Lady Forrester. let's continue, I think, she's always been kind to me, treated me like I was a forester myself, right, Ryan. never easy being the fourth born son, yeah. Roderick, Roderick, he was our best warrior by far, he did, and of course Lord, Lord Forrester, Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. What a, what a nice guy. Gregor the Good. Anyway, uh, hmm. yeah, I, I saw You seem the... to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I, I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> so, I, uh, because the, due to the recording, I didn't comment on the on the mag that sells. That was pretty damn gross. You can pick up the herbs or herbs. This might depending. Help. I'll just put it in the pocket. Won't they like stick it out? Oh, need bandages. Let's put that in the pocket as well. Let's take all this shit. I think that's the maggots. Damn. Let's touch one of them. It just seems like a good idea. cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Yeah. Let's, let's show my swords. <laughs> Look at that. It's a good thing you've done. Bringing that back to House Forester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. That's pretty rare. Let's look at him. Keep moving, I need to see you walk. <laughs> what? That's the most gayest thing I've ever seen. Okay, let's, let's talk to him. Did your leg feel weak? No. Nope. I just wanted to ask you. Can I, Can I go you? now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to oh, know yeah. you survived. Just teleported Thank so you. far away. Lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. It's alright. Mato. Oh, okay, me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Amazing. It's like only like 4 p.m. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. Yeah, his death was pretty. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved, he saved my, my life. life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Oh shit. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion, but if you can remember anything... Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. I did not avoid it. That's why he said. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. 
It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. No, Duncan, my sword. This was our land. I mean, they were our people. Yeah. Your family. Yeah, the rest of crew. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. But I didn't kill the Bolton. I killed a. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within the week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Good point. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Oh shit. Too so, shit. what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's such a young boy. He's just boy. a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us what? of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's Gosh. done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Denton. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. Oh, but we you. haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. I fulfilled my surprise. duty. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? What is Most it? don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this His will face be looks like he's secret. doing an evil plot. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. You, know, you should at least 
iron from ice. Future Remember, ice changes too. You represent okay. House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. I can't represent House Forrester when I'm gonna give up my whole rank when you're at the wall. But do you realize how his head didn't hit the ceiling of the place? Oh, they're there. They made it. Garrett, wait! Wasn't she supposed to go to bed? Should I take it? Should I? Okay, fine. Be safe. Oh, an app. Like, no one was there to, like, you know, cheer me on or thank me. Oh, I shifted characters to school. Ethan! Ethan Forrester. He looks like Bowen. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. I win! Congratulations, your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. Let's go hide and seek. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and- Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't think I so. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Yeah, Gareth's cool. He'll be fine. Gareth is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? <laughs> You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Roderick looks Where like he's I? 20. You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Oh. I know a lord has many responsibilities. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Just to please Lord everyone. Ethan. 
You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Let's get going. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I uh, were you, I, have to go I would command him. Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Why is he going back when I'm supposed to go? Wait, what? That didn't make sense. I was supposed to follow Royland. Yeah, I went backwards. It's amazing. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule the world. It's a good way. There's one hell of fat lord. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Piece of shit. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? Because you that's bloody amateur. Tastes like shit. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Oh, shit. Lord Ethan. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Whoa, you hear that? whoa, whoa. Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. I only lost Where's one. You only lost one soldier. Men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. Damn. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Oh shit. 
Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Touché. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Oh shit. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. It feels nice being the Lord. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. 